Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and a little bit of brake pad education. So it is now April the 25th of 2022 and we are still feeling the effects of the lockdown in 2020 for a lot of the Far East manufacturing facilities and in particular the Shimano L03A brake pads <laughs> and these are like a unicorn and uh, you know I have a set of them I have a couple of sets but they're the ones I've taken off my own personal bike I'm just not using them and I'm not using them anymore and I've got a ton of these on back order I've probably got at least 300 pairs of these on back order my oldest back order goes all the way back to March 3rd of 2021 and I still don't have them and like I said today is April the 25th the L03A pad has been supplanted by the L05A pad uh, dash RF which just basically means radiator fence but even those are back ordered there are dates pushed out and pushed out end of 2022 and even 2023 for these pads so what i thought i would do today is shoot a video to talk about all of the other alternatives and that's all in finger quotes because there's there's more than what i'm going to show you today the first thing i want to educate you about is that as long as you have a brake pad that is compatible with Shimano flat mount brakes so that means you're probably riding a Durace level brake, Ultegra level brake, a 105 brake, uh, some of the XTR stuff and also the gravel series of brake calipers are all for flat mount brakes and <laughs> They all use the L03A pad. So that's why everyone is looking for these pads and they're on back order forever because it's, it fits so many different bikes. Now, if you have a flat mount brake and you have a flat mount compatible brake pad, you're set. You do not have to use the Shimano brake pad. I repeat, Please stop wasting your time, your effort, your energy, your frustrations trying to find the L03A brake pad. There are superior pads and they're available. I wouldn't say that they're widely available, but they are available. So let's talk about a couple of things. If you think about a brake pad company that is a boutique brake pad, brake pad company and all they do is make brake pads then why wouldn't you trust those pads trust me I'm telling you now they are in many cases superior to the L03 pad now I understand a lot of you this is probably your first disc brake bike and this is the first time you've had to replace the pads and I know that it makes complete sense to go like for like I get it I I encourage you to do that as best you can these are options for you because I'm t <laughs> I've been waiting over a year for pads here at the store they have trickled in and they have gone out just as quickly but if let me give you an analogy when you need new tires for your car in many cases that tire that the OE original equipment that came equipped with your car in many cases you drive to a tire shop they're not going to have that tire and maybe you get an upgrade or you stay parallel but it's going to be a different tire a different brand another analogy when you um, need a new battery for your vehicle let's say you own a Ford it came with a Ford something something battery, but 
you're going to get probably an upgrade of an interstate battery or some, some other form of battery. That's probably an upgrade. Longer warranty on it, longer life, what a, or better warranty and longer life maybe, so you'll get a different battery for your car. So I want you to think about that. The other thing is, if you have any other thing on your bike, sometimes you have an Ultegra bike and maybe you upgrade to a Durace cassette. It's all within the same family, but you did an upgrade. So that's how I want you to think about these pads here. So let's take a look at some of the options. The, the L03A pad, when you look at the brake pad that makes contact and the measurements of just this like glossy area down and this little hole here, all these pads are compatible because they are the same exact measurements. The only difference is these fins. And even that is not that big of a deal. But Swiss Stop is a brand that makes, that only makes brake pads and rotors. That's all they do. They don't make drivetrain components. They don't make, you know, cables and housing. They don't do any of that. All they make is brake pads for rim brake and disc brake, right? So this is one of the pads that's available that you can use on your bike. That's called the 34RS. This is the Exotherm and it has the fins. If you so wish to have fins, they're available. They're in stock. These are my personal favorites, the MTX pads. They come in two versions. They call it the red label or the gold label. This is what would be more kind of like a metal pad, but it does not act like a metal pad. It's a much better pad. And this would be their resin. So red, resin, if you need to use a word association. These are the pads I use on my own personal bike. I don't use the Shimano pads, okay? One thing that is important to mention is that within the Shimano lineup of pads, they also have pads that do not have fins, okay? I apologize that my hands are a little dirty, but I'm trying to finish a video, or I'm trying to do a, vi a video so I can go home. <laughs> but this is the K03S pad, right? And that's a titanium backed pad. Cool Stop, another brand that all they make is brake pads. They make brake pads for rim and brake pads for disc. That's all they make, brake pads. You should trust this brand for your bike as well. Jaguar is another brand of, they're more of a value brand, but it's a flat mount brake pad and it's compatible with your Shimano flat mount brakes. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options that I carry here in the store that are compatible, that I've used on my own personal bike, especially the MTX pads, I have put them through the ringer. Never had brake fade. And if you don't know my history, just last year, I did a million feet of climbing and descending, and um, I did 50 rides of 10,000 feet or more last year. And a lot of them were fewer than 100 miles, so that means I was up on 20, 25% grades and also having to descend them. Because a lot of those are uh, dead-end climbs, they go to radio towers or water towers, and, uh, and you gotta come back down. So. I know a lot about steep descents. I know a lot about high speed descents. And I've gotten these pat or I've gotten my bike up 55, 60 miles an hour and waited to the very last second and jammed on the brakes. No brake fade whatsoever. So I wanted to share with you options because the L03A pads and the L05A pads, I don't trust any of the dates. They keep telling me. January, oh, February, oh, March. Uh, some pads were supposed to ship today. I was supposed to, uh, 50 pads were supposed to ship today, February, I'm sorry, April 25. 
and they pushed it out to May 13th. So that's where we're at in this marketplace with these supply chain issues. So please, don't wait any longer for the L038 pads. If you really, really want them, okay, put a back order, sit and wait, and be kind to the bike shop that you've placed your order with. They don't have any control on when they're gonna get the parts. We've all, all of us collectively, I've talked to many shop owners. Hey, where are you going to get your pads? What are you doing? Nobody has access to them. So the L05A from Shimano, I think was, you know, like a Hail Mary. Well, let's create a new pad. I think it's got better wear, I'm not sure. I, I could only find information in Europe. Um, I do have another video about the L058 pads specifically. But if you need brake pads, buy one of these. You can ride your bike. You don't have to stress and have to find L038 pads. Um, and then rotors as well. The Ultegra rotors uh, were phased out. The Durace rotors were phased out. I've got a ton of the Durace rotors, but now they've all gone to the XTR rotor. So you're not using a road rotor. So like a RT900, it's now an MT900. Okay, that's all for today. If you found some value out of this video, please hit that like button. Please tell your friends to not wait any longer for L038 pads. I can sell any of these to them or yourself. And please like and subscribe and we'll see you up the road.